everyone, it's Vanessa from Application Quilting and Craft and I'm about to put the borders onto my sci-fi quilt. Now this is a really big quilt and it's important that the borders go on nice and square so the quilt sits well and it quilts up well. So what I've done first and I really recommend you do before you put your borders on is I have folded over my two long edges into the center of my quilt and I'm actually making sure that the length of the edges of the quilt are the same as the length down the center. So they're meeting up at the bottom of the quilt. Sometimes what happens is as we're sewing our seams, especially seams along here, we get to the end of the seam and sometimes it can veer away and not be quite a quarter inch seam. And if that happens enough, what will happen is the sides of your quilt will be a bit longer than the center of the quilt, which means your quilt um, won't be nice and square. So by laying them out like this, I'm actually able to double check that I'm generally fairly even all the way through. So that's a really good check to do. The next thing I'm going to mention is these fabrics along the edge of this quilt have actually been cut length of grain. So there's no lengthwise stretch. But if these pieces were cut crosswise, they would actually have quite a bit of stretch in them. And what can happen after you've been handling the quilt a bit is these fabrics along the edges can get a little bit stretched. And again, what you will see is this overhanging down here. Now the easiest way to fix that is to take it over to your ironing board and give these edges a steam. It will kind of help to soak them back in a little bit. And then lay out again and have another check. So you're doing two things. You're checking that your quarter inch seams are as they should be. And you're also checking that you haven't got any ruffling on the edges from stretching the fabric. So I know mine is pretty square. So the next thing I'm going to do is lay my quilt out, my quilt top, I'm just going to bring it over here so I can reach the centre. And I'm just going to make sure this is really nice and flat because I'm going to measure my border through the center of the quilt. Now this border fabric has got the really cool spaceships on it. And what I've done is I've marked the center where I want that particular pattern to be in the middle of my border. And I've got a little bit of overhang down this end. And I've got quite a bit of overhang up this end. So this pattern, um, the Jason Yenta pattern, he allows enough fabric so that you can align the border print where you want it. I'm making sure that where I've got the pin there in the center, I'm just going to now pin that at the center of my quilt so it doesn't shuffle around. And I'm going to lay this down and make sure again, there's absolutely no creases or folds in the layer underneath. And I'm going to put a little pin just through the end there, where it matches to the end of that fabric. And I'm going to do the same at this end. So I'm not stretching my quilt top, I'm just making sure that it's nice and flat. And then doing the same with the border. So again, I'm just putting a pin, oops, what I'm getting there. 
where it matches to the top of the quilt. So I'm not cutting my border fabric yet. Now I should hopefully be able to fold that in half. And those two pins are actually matching almost exactly. So I know when I've laid my quilt top out that there hasn't been any weird ruffling in it or um, hasn't sort of got pulled up or anything. Now I'm lucky here, I've got this really big table space in our shop. Um, a lot of people at home don't have the luxury of this. So I was able to lay my quilt top out flat. What can you do if you don't have a big area like mine? So I'm just going to unpin this now because I've marked the ends of my border. So if I've got a smaller table, like a dining table, I would fold my quilt in half, match up the ends. Pop a pin there so I can't move around. And then where I had my pin in the centre of the border. It should be about there somewhere. I'll match up those two folded edges and then pin down here through both of the layers. So it's just really important that you make sure that this is matching up perfectly up this end. So you can do it on a smaller table. So that's why I, that's the method I use. I measure through the center with the actual fabric. You can obviously use a tape measure and then transfer that measurement onto your borders. The only catch is if you forget the number, which I have done in the past, um, things can go wrong. So I'm, I'm a visual person. I like to lay my quilt top down, lay the border piece down on top of it, make sure everything's nice and flat, and then pin the ends. So now I'm ready to pin my border on. Now, Craig's holding up the, um, the phone to take the video, so hopefully his arms aren't getting too sore. So now I can grab my border. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put on my two pins, match them up. Find my centre. Pop a pin in. And then I'm also going to fold it over again. Match my pins up and find my quarter mark on each of them. So I'm just going to put a pin at each of the quarters. And I will do the same now with my quilt top. Fold it in half and pin my quarters. And then line those pins up. Now, if the side of the quilt was a slightly different measurement to down through the center, I'd actually be easing that in ever so slightly. So your border becomes the frame that holds everything nice and square. So now I can match my pins at the ends, pins at the quarter marks, and actually pin my quilt top to my, bar, to my border. And once I'm happy with all that, 
then I'm going to trim off the ends. So I don't trim the ends until I'm really happy everything is sitting nice and square um, and um, it's all matching in. Okay, so that's a bit of a fairly quick tutorial on how I put borders. It's a good idea when you cut your border fabric that it's cut length of grain. Again, it forms a really sturdy frame around your quilt. Um, because this is a border stripe print, it is actually cut length of grain. Um, but certainly when you're cutting your own borders, particularly for bigger quilts, cut it lengthwise down the grain. Um, it will really help to stabilize your quilt. And if you send your quilt out for long arm quilting, um, which I do for customers, I do long arm quilting, the squarer your border, um, the better your quilting is going to be because if the borders aren't square around the quilt, sometimes you'll get this thing called ruffling. And as a quilter, that can be slightly painful to deal with. So that's my advice. Cut your borders length of grain, make sure your quilt is square, and then pin on using the, at least the quarter marks. And your quilt will be nice and square when you finish. Okay then, I'm going to go ahead and sew these on. Bye.